Dankeschön. Thanks for joining us today on this episode of Wide Open Outdoor Adventures. I'm Dave Valtiera. Today we're going to target large mouth black bass with Florida Bass Adventures. We're going to fish Lake Toho in Kissimmee, Florida, just outside of Orlando with Captain Steve Boyd. Today we're going trophy bass fishing. Steve, it's great to be here with you in Florida, man. I'm great to have you. I'm excited. We're on world famous Lake Toho. It's summertime, so that means feeding fish, top water action, and hopefully some big ones. You know what? Some serious rod bending action is coming your way. Don't change that dial. Are you ready, man? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. It was an amazing start to an amazing day here in Florida. It looked like the sky was on fire. Our day started with exploration of a Lake Toho canal with amazing cover all around us. Steve has been fishing Lake Toho and the other lakes in Orlando for years. If you love the wide open outdoors, this place will blow you away. Get ready. On today's episode, we catch some smoking hot bass in Kissimmee, Florida on Lake Toho, one of the nation's prime big bass lakes. We also visit Gatorland and see some monster alligators. Stay right where you're at. This show is smoking hot. There are spooks, we got a few different topwaters. There are spooks, one of them. And uh, each company has different things they're looking to do with their, with their bait when it's walking. Spooks, sometimes you'll see the nose come out of the water, walk a little bit high. We actually want that nose in the water. So, simple little trick. Just take your knot, pop it down like that, instead of leaving it straight up. And that will cause that spook to stay in the water rather than ride up high on you. That's the tip of the day. Weather is pretty important when it comes to planning your fishing trips. But I can tell you here in Central Florida, you've got a couple things going on that don't happen really anywhere else. You've got weather from the Gulf of Mexico coming toward the state of Florida. You've got weather coming from the Atlantic Ocean going toward the state of Florida. And this weather collides in central Florida. And therefore we get thunderstorms, serious thunderstorms, almost every day in the summertime. In fact, the average annual rainfall here in central Florida is 50 inches. That is some serious rain. But everything's green and everything is alive. Steve and I are moving up this backwater creek. Look at these cypress trees. Look at this moss hanging down. Is this deep, deep forest or what? Over 50 inches of annual rainfall will make this place green, lush all the time. This is textbook awesome. Brought to you by Triton Boats, number one on the water. Minn Kota, go anywhere. And Steve Broil, guide service. I'm Dave Valtiero with Wide Open Sportsman. I've been an outdoorsman for over 30 years. I'm at home in the outdoors. My background and my experience enable me to be more successful at hunting, fishing, and adventure. Come learn with me. Sharpen your skills and come up that learning curve fast. 
subscribe today and get notifications of future video uploads. Just do it. All right, so a while back I did a bait casting tip on casting a bait caster, getting your settings right, and uh, reducing backlashes. And this one that I want to follow up with, I mean, it's been a while, but I want to follow up and get into the fundamentals of casting, the settings of the reel, and what you should be able to do while casting. So on my settings, it's pretty close to free spool. When I, when I release and I let the lure drop, it's on free spool. If my thumb does not stop that, it is going to backlash, okay? So essentially what I'm looking to do is have that lure travel on its own speed from the cast and the spool match that speed, but it's all gonna work together. And that's the part of this little tip that I wanna show you. It's not easy and it's not something I'd recommend, but if you do it right, then result should be the same. So here we go, we're gonna give it a shot. So the idea is if everything's moving the same speed, you don't get a backlash. If that lure is moving too fast for the line to come out of this spool, it can only go one direction, up. And that's where you get your bird nest. So as long as everything's moving the same speed, no backlash. I'll do that again for you. We go to Gatorland and see some huge monster man-eaters and even get a chance to check out some of the snakes and hold a four-foot alligator. He's nothing but muscle. We're in Orlando, Florida at Gatorland. Chris is going to show us some big alligators, some crazy lizards, some hairy tarantulas, some ultra cool baby alligators, and snakes. I didn't find this big snake over here in Florida, out in the swamps. I'm over here at Gatorland with a couple of my friends and we're looking at some new big animals that I, I never had a snake around my neck like this. But I think he's giving me some eye contact. I don't know if he likes these Costa Del Mars. Chris, it looks like this is a big American alligator or why is he so light colored? Uh, this is an American alligator. This is actually a leucistic alligator. They're very, very rare. There's only been 22 ever born. They've documented. There's 13 alive today, and we actually have four of them. And ours are the biggest, so we're really proud of them. Really rare. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to meet Chester. This is an American alligator. He was trapped in the wild, and he was caught actually because he's eating dogs. So that's not something that, you know, we were the one to have today, have him get too close to us. But we'll see if one of these trainers can get him out here and come on up on the shore. Well, our visit to Gatorland was outstanding. You've got to check out this place if you travel to Orlando, Florida. It's really, really cool. Steve's bass boat is really fast. I mean really fast. It was awesome. We were going from one fishing location to the next in no time at all. Some people wonder, why do bass boats have such big motors on them? It's because these guys fish tournaments, and when you're in a tournament, every second counts. When you're running the boat across the water, that means you're not catching fish. So getting from one point to the other quickly enables you to fish longer and increase your odds to win the tournament. 
Do you target redfish? Click subscribe to catch more redfish and get more hookups. Just do it. Click subscribe today. Hey, so I want to give you a quick tip on how to alter a topwater frog to where you can get the action you're looking for. Out of the box, they don't quite do what you want and you're wanting a nice walking action, same as you would a Zara spook. So an easy thing to do, out of the box, you can see this one here, it's got nice long legs. Just go ahead and cut those down. That'll allow it to walk really easy. Now you won't be able to just reel and make it walk. You will have to give it some rod manipulation, leave some slack in the line, but it'll walk a lot easier and hopefully get you some big fish. All right, so we've got our frog tied on, altered. Let's put it in action. Fish on. Oh, did you get off? Yeah, it's coming at you. Keep going. Not fast though, not fast. Just easy. Yeah, you're right. Look at old Steve-O. Taking line. That's good, that's good. Good fish. Let's bring the rod down. A lot of attitude. Nice chunky fish. Yeah, I'd say attitude. Swiped at it. He was actually hooked on the outside. Mr. Shiner and he got it in his eyes. We gotta try to get that out of there for him. There we go. Not too bad. That's why he felt big. There you go. I'll trade you. Oh, got him. Got him. Beautiful big mouth black bass central Florida Lake Toho. Now that's why I fish. As you can see my cork moving to the left. Shiner can do that. Maybe he's running from something. So my rod tip down like Steve taught me. And watch that cork. And you can see it's moving to the left, no question. That's a good fish. Good fish. Blow them down just a little bit. Okay. You don't want them coming in too hot. Yep, that's the best one in the morning so far. That's what we came for. Kind of bring them over to the right a little bit, keep them away from the other. You know, stay there, just use the rod. Okay, yep. gotcha. Woo, look at that. Right there and just steer this way. Look at that. Perfect. There you go, perfect. Let's bring that rod down, leave that slack in there. Okay. There we go, hooked on the corner just the way we like. Nice Florida chunk. Healthy, eating good, in your hands. Good job. Look at this fish. What, about three and a half, four pounder? I'd say solid three. Good fish, nice chunk, something you'd, you'd love to have in a tournament. Turn into the abyss. At least to be caught again. That's it. Great, Steve. Good job. Awesome, brother. Take him. A little feisty little fish. A little attitude to him. Now I could make these fish jump, but ideally I want them in the water, keeping their mouth closed and swimming, rather than coming up trying to shake that hook. And if you do it right, they just come up to you nice and easy. But the biggest thing is kind of getting that hook off, getting that fish back in the water, and uh, getting a good release. You can tell. Dark colors, you can tell the fish have been shallow and a little belly on them, so he's been eating good. Get him back in there. He's off.
time to make a move. Got him? Got him. Bass fish in Lake Toho, Central Florida with Steve Boyd. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! In go. the air. Good fish. There you go. Just bring him right to me, Dave. Okay. Don't really leave that slack in there. Perfect. There we go. Let's bring your rod down. Leave that slack in there, though. There you go. Ooh, hooked on the bottom, just like we like. Makes it a little hard for the guy to grab him, but that's okay. Good fish. Another bass right here, Lake Toho. Big mouth or large mouth black bass today on wide open outdoor adventures. Yep, and that's what he's trying to eat. You get an idea. Yeah, big bait, big fish, you know, not always. Sometimes it's just got a bass trying to eat a big shiner. After this commercial break, Steve and I have a really big finish on Lake Toho. Something. We go towards that neck. They might have a double here. <laughs> you on? On. We got a double. That might be a good fish though. I might need to get mine in a little bit faster. Steve just kind of showed me the way this shiner fishing works and it's different. Steve's tying on another hook onto this rod right here, but I tell you, you know, when we croaker fish, we keep the rod tip really high. We feel the thump thump and we give them all that slack and then we set the hook. It's very different today. We start out with the rod tip really low and we actually have some slack in the line. As soon as we see the cork go under, we raise the rod up fairly aggressively almost behind you and feel for a taunt pull. If there's something there, then we reel down and set the hook. So it's all technique. It's very different today here in Florida than what we're used to in Texas. So listen to your guide and fish the water that you're fishing. Change it up based on the conditions and based on the way the fish bite. Oh yeah. Got fish one here. Stronger fish here. Get a great fish in. Get to hold them, take some photos. Here you go, Dave. Good job. Bass fishing Lake Toho with Steve Boyd. That's what I'm talking about. The hydrilla that we have in the lakes, it's really the building blocks of our habitat and the biology. You get microorganisms living in it. Through that, you're getting your brim, your bluegills, your shiners are feeding on the microorganisms. And then your bass, of course, they're coming right behind them and feeding on them. So it's all part of the building blocks of having a, a trophy bass fishery like we have here in Lake Toho. I don't know how big he is. He's got an attitude, though. Pretty fish. Good colors, eating good. Good water temperatures, healthy fish. I'm gonna get him back in the water, catch another one. Lake Toho is a typical Florida lake. It's shallow in nature with an average depth of six feet. However, almost all of the bass fishing is done in four feet or less. The thick vegetation holds these big bass. Now keep in mind, the majority of Lake Toho is owned by cattle ranchers and therefore there are very few homes on the lake. As you can see, it's a very natural setting. I'd say that's one we want to take a picture of. He's just going from grass patch to grass patch right now. Good fish. Face full of grass, doesn't know what's going on. Great fish, Steve. Awesome. Look at that fish. Absolutely beautiful. You know, all those colors. I mean, that's what Florida bass are famous for. Getting big, getting fat, and being dark. That's a large mouth for you. Awesome fish. Happy to catch it out here. Happy to have Dave out here filming. Get these fish on camera, get them a little famous, you know.
The geography of central Florida is mainly wetlands, consisting of many lakes and swamps. It's flat and therefore spotted with hundreds of lakes. The bedrock is limestone and therefore very porous. Orlando has a humid subtropical climate, primarily because of its low elevation and its proximity to the Tropic of Cancer and the Gulf Stream, which flows around the Florida Peninsula. Nice job. Good hook set. Pretty good fish. Yep, good fish. Lake Toho, sweet, I tell you this. I think Steve, Steve has been an awesome, awesome guide, helping me learn how to catch these fish. Just the way you want to see them. Yeah. That works. On today's episode of Wide Open Outdoor Adventures, we have caught bass in numbers and bass in size. Let's get back out there. There we go. We're hooked up. Fish on. I think that's a good fish. All right, bass fishing, Lake Toho. Steve's hooked up. Kind of working through this hydrilla here. This is where it gets a little tricky. You can have a good fish. Uh -huh. And you can't reel them up tight to the line. You gotta leave some slack in there. Work them in. That's, four, that's a Florida strain large enough. Nice. You know, short, fat, easy Steve good. and I had an awesome time fishing Kissimmee, Florida. Contact him at the number at the bottom of your screen and he can put you on fish too.